Oh, it's Brandon. Whiskey River, part two, crate opening. Actually, it's not really part two. It's gonna be a crate opening and we're putting it on YouTube. So here we go. Washington collection is here. I teased it a little bit on Instagram and um, TikTok. So I figured why not do a long form YouTube video, record this straight through, go through the pallet. Some uh, pretty nice stuff in here. This is that Warren that I showed off, the red handle. This little Connie on a genuine hickory handle. Excuse the mess. We've got bubble wrap everywhere right now. Here's that washboard boys axe that I posted the other day. So that's pretty exciting. I've never had a washboard, never had a boys axe washboard. I've, I've held a couple boys axes, or sorry, washboards, but never, uh, never owned one. So I'll own this one for a short amount of time. Nice little broad axe. What does that say on it? Buffalo, New York. Spanish hatchet. Here, let me show you the inside of this. Kind of get some stuff out of the way first. And then I'll show you the inside of this. I'll show you how it's packed. Come with me. So, we got layers and layers of handled axes in the middle and then heads tucked on the outside. So, yeah, creative goodies. So I'm gonna start cranking this open and seeing what we got to show you guys. Oh, that's built in. Here's a quiche racer. On a nice, nice looking handle. Sweet. Here's another quiche. This is a Timberman. We had a Timberman on a previous auction. So we got the work axe and the uh, race axe. That's exciting. Here's a clear cut on a nice, either a vintage handle or maybe possibly a original. Beveled Norlin with a sticker, partial. Sager. I got this little knife. Check it out, it's a zipper knife, like it made to go on a zipper of a coat. It holds uh, one of those like surgical blades. Super small. Ben of Baryonyx sell these, sells these and they're awesome. So, great for like cutting packing tape and stuff. Slips in my pocket. Yeah, it's not like gonna win any contest as it being the biggest ax, or biggest um, knife in the room, but Definitely will cut packing tape and fit in your pocket, so. Got some books. Let's see. A rope book for the hardware store. This gentleman that we bought this off of knows we own a hardware store now, or like the front end of a hardware store, so he's sending us all sorts of uh of these bench metal work just you know old hardware catalogs so that's exciting and we appreciate that nice little tazzy on a 30c 
I believe that's on a 30C. Lakeside double. Another Tassie. Look at that thing. Beast. Beast. So if you've made it this far, you should uh, know that, I, sh I guess I should let you know that the this collection is going to be on our auction site. And it looks like we're going to be doing it on the Black Friday week, because that'll be kind of the week that it aligns with on being able to get all this stuff cataloged, photographed, all that stuff. So um, that's it's going to be a party that week. It's going to be a straight up party. A nice little Pulaski, Forest Service stamped, True Temper, and it's got really cool pitting patina to it, but it's like really good shape. Nice little hang on it. Next layer. What do we got? Oh yeah. I see a Hickory. Hickory. Duluth. I'm partial to these Duluth, this Duluth stuff since it's uh, local to us since we're only about an hour away. So yeah, it's a cool piece. Ooh, this one's got a curly handle on it. Kind of looks like oak. It's heavy like oak too. HB, big bit. This whole thing's, this whole collection's full of big bits. Like if you're into big bit axes, Connie's, Cassie's, jerseys, this is the one for you. Uh, beveled Connie. Beveled Tazzy, I mean. Check that thing out. It's stamped uh, Kelly. Made in Canada. <laughs> St. Catharines, Ontario. Pretty cool piece. Kelly Flint Edge. Tazzy again. Jersey, Lakeside Jersey on a Mohawk handle. This is a beautiful handle. Super tight grain, look at that thing. I was gonna keep this under 10 minutes, but I think it might go over 10. I think it might go over 10 and that's okay. We're gonna do it. I wanna show you everything that's in this palette. High test. On a 30C again. Cyclone. No name. Boys Axe? Might be a Boys Axe. Yeah, it's a Boys Axe. Uh, Connie. On a short little handle. It's pretty sweet. Two leg sides. Another layer. Are you guys sick of uh, watching me dig through this palette? Comment below on which one's your favorite one so far. I wanna hear. We got doubles. Here's some doubles. We got a Wedgeway. A handmade, Kelly handmade five pounder. It's pretty beat, but it is. All there. Nice little wedge waist stamp. We got one of these in the auction right now. We're running when I'm recording this. My soul true temper. Forest service stamped, maybe? It's got a green handle. It's got some guys, it's got Lyle on it. it says Lyle. That's wild. Another lakeside. Double. C, C, C stamped? No. C, E, C, O stamped double. C, E, C, O. Another lakeside double. An Adirondack lakeside double. It's a sweet handle. I think I, I think that's a really nice looking hang. That's what I think. 
Big old Puget. This is uh, Lakeside as well, but with this stamp instead. Proud hang on a Indian fire handle. Another layer. We got two more layers. We got some crates of heads. I might do a part two. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. Boom! Look at this beast. Another lakeside. Almost knocked the camera over. It's a good looking handle on there too. Man, if you're a lakeside, if you're a lakeside collector like this guy was, you're just gonna be super into that. This is two two more lakesides here. <coughs> Another lakeside double. Another lakeside single, it says HW Core on the handle. Beautiful looking piece. Here's Helen's Legitimus Connecticut on a nice vintage handle. See the stamp? Plum, uh, plum Cassie here. A true temper two and a quarter pound FS stamp boys axe. Uh, Collins boys axe, a lakeside boys axe, both on very nice vintage handles. Another lakeside and a Craftsman Boys Axe. Another Lakeside Boys Axe. You'll have plenty of, plenty of those to choose from if you are into them. Lakeside Half Hatchet. <coughs> what do we got? A Walters. Tassie. Made in Canada, of course. I'm gonna move this a little closer so you guys can hang out with me. What do you think? Nice, uh, what is this one? Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm sure one of you guys can tell me what this is. CMM Klung & Co, Knoxville, Tennessee. Jersey, Jersey Axe. Collins three pounder. High test. Three and a half pound. Kentucky pattern, maybe? Kelly. Champion. Oh man, this is dangerous. Dipping my hands in there, another lakeside. I don't know the stamp on this one. I'm not too good on the foreign ones, but it says Fern, maybe? Kern? Hern? Not Clipper. Jersey? No name? Connecticut? Another no name? Oh, this is Tazzy. Colonial, single bit. At the end of this, you guys are gonna have to tell me which one was your favorite, which one you're looking forward to at the auction. Right, because these are all gonna be auctioned. Like I said, Black Friday week. Lakeside with bevels. We've been talking a lot about pickaroons lately. And you know, the designs are wild and all very different. So here's a pickaroon. Swedish head. Another lakeside. A Walters. Fern, Fern is what it said. That, that Tazzy said Fern on it. 
Is there another one? Talon's legitimate machete with sheath. Pretty exciting. Another hand tool for the front room. Little hatchet. What's in the box? That's the question. What is in the box is the question. It's wrapped up, I'll tell you that. It's really wrapped up. Let me get my knife out. What the heck? It's really late. It's late. Yeah, it's really late. It's like uh, 10-ish right now in the evening. Kelly Howe Thompson, Wholesale Duluth, Port of Duluth. Oh man, this one might have to stay. I don't know if this one's gonna sell. Yeah, this is a hardware store catalog out of Duluth. I don't know if we put this on the auction. I think I might keep this one. And I'll be honest, you probably have not heard me say that much. I don't keep much for myself. I should, but I don't. I think that belongs in the front building. Olympia, trademark, draw knife. Plum. Tazzy. Brown Camp Hardware out of Des Moines, Iowa. Craftsman head, big old boy, I like it. A lakeside, double. Is this one stamped? It's not. Here's a sweet undercutter for knocking chips out. This is a uh, worn. Nice little single bit. High test challenger. That's wedgy. Look at how wedgy that is. Boy's axe eye, maybe even a little smaller. Foreign head, Just looks Swedish. Craftsman. Double. Lakeside Swamper. Narrow Swamper. Is that what that is? Double. A worn double. This one's pretty worn out, but yeah, it might be a cruiser. I can't tell. It's either a cruiser or a. Well, that's three pounds, so probably a full size. Super worn out, but cool. Single bit. Big old, big old swamper peeler looking thing. Craftsman. Another colonial. A little double bit in the lakeside hewer. And then, uh, whoa, we got a box, an axe crate. This is Chicago, Illinois. Three and a half pound Michigan bent handles. Lakeside, black, bent handles, retail pool department. And it's got an order number on it. It's pretty cool. Of course, you can't go wrong with the George Washington doorstop, right? We're gonna have that in for the front building too. I'm gonna keep a little bit of this, but not all of it. There's gonna be a lot of this on the auction, so. Anyway, that's it, 20 minutes, not bad, you know? Um, comment what's your favorite piece. It, it doesn't have to be an axe. You know, we had those books too. Those are pretty fun. Um, but yeah, comment what it is. And also bid.whiskeyrivertrading.com is our website for our auctions and we're running auctions all the time. Um, and projects all the way up to fancy stuff to, you know, um, non axe stuff, draw knives and actual knives, things like that. So stay tuned, check it out over there. Get registered to bid, get logged in place your bid it lets you auto bid so if you don't have time to like sit there when the auction's actually actually closing you can auto bid and that's a pretty sweet feature so yeah anyway be good stay sharp and uh see you next time thanks for the support guys